Shalom, Israel. Most high Christ bless. You are now watching 15 Minutes with a Captain. I'm Captain Gannon to my right. Officer Uriel. So today we're going over ungodly friendship. Right. As a people, one thing that we lack is the ability to have friends. Right. Uh, to know what a friend is. So let's get the perfect example. All right. Give me that in John 15, 13. Let's see what Christ said a friend is. Read. John chapter 15, verse 14. Uh -huh. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. So Christ said, you are my friends if you do what I tell you to do. What did Christ tell us to do? John 5, 46. John chapter 5 and verse 46. What did Christ tell us to do? Come on. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. Uh -huh. For he wrote of me. Uh -huh. But if ye believe not his writings. What does Moses write? Thou should love thy neighbor as thyself. Right. Thou should not steal. Thou should not commit adultery. Right. Thou should not uh, uh, bear false witness against thy neighbor. Exactly. Read. How shall ye believe my words? So Christ said, if you don't believe the words of Moses, how are you going to believe what he's telling you to do? Right. What is that saying? Christ said, I'm teaching you the laws of God. And my friends are those that keeps the laws of God. Get Psalms 11963. Your friends is not Billy on the block. Your friends is not a uh, uh, Becky at work. Your friends are those that's keeping the laws of God. That's right. Read that. Psalms 119, verse 63. Come on. I am a companion. I am a friend of all them that fear thee. Of all them that what? Fear thee. Come on. And of them that keep thy precepts. <laughs> Who's that? David? David said, I'm a friend of those that keeps the laws of God. Right. <laughs> now, we're going to go into what an ungodly friend is. Get to Surah 37 and 12. What is an ungodly friend? Because we, we throw that word so loosely. Right. Oh, that's my friend. That's my friend. She's my friend. He's my friend. All right. We're going to find out today what an ungodly friend is. Read on. Surah chapter 37 and verse 12. Come on. But be continually with a godly man. God says, be continually with a godly man. Read. Whom thou knowest. Or woman. Man or woman. Right, right. <laughs> Put that out there. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Whom thou knowest. Come on. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Dang, didn't we just read that in, in, in John 15? Right. Christ said, you are my friend if you do what I tell you to do. Right. If you keep the laws of God. Right. An ungodly friend ain't keeping no commandments. Commandments. Read. Whose mind is according to thy mind. Come on. And will sorrow with thee. And will what? Sorrow with thee. Let's look up that word sorrow real quick. I got the definition right here. Let's look up the word sorrow. There we go. Pull it up. Here we go. Sorrow. A feeling of deep distress caused by loss, disappointment, or other misfortune Suffered by oneself or others. Go to the synonyms. Sadness, unhappiness, de dejection, reject, depression, misery, despondency, despair, desolation, gloom, hateful, melancholy, low spirits. <laughs> Go to, uh, let, let, let's just stay with unhappiness, right. sadness. Read that script again. So Rock 37 and verse 12. Come on. But be continually with a godly man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Read on. Whose mind is according to thy mind, uh -huh. and will sorrow and will sorrow with thee. Read on. If, if thou shalt miscarry. So God says, a true friend, if you sad, I'm sad. Right. If you unhappy, right. I'm unhappy. Right. Give me Sirach chapter 6 and verse 8. That's what a true friend does. Right. A ungodly friend. Wouldn't give a dog on about you when you're going through your turmoil. Right. Watch this. Read that. Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 8. Come on. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Some man only want to be a friend because you got money. Right. Because you got access to, uh, 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 what's it, a CEO Bob. All right. <laughs> you got access to new jobs. You got access to property. Mm -hmm. Some, some, some. Brothers and sisters, only your friends because you got something that they want. Right. Read on. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Will not sorrow with thee when you're going through stuff. Mm. Read on. You're going to read the verse 9. And there is a friend. Uh-oh. 
Who being turned to enmity. Who, who you got beef with now. You're arguing. You got a uh, turmoil against each other, Reed. And strife. And strife. Will discover thy, thy reproach. Now, now they were revealing all the secrets. Mm. All your secrets just out in the air for everybody to know. But when everything was good. Right. When, when. I had lamb for you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when I was helping you pay the rent. Right. When I had when, when I made sure you had food on your table. Right. I could tell you all my secrets. Exactly. And you didn't tell nobody. Read that last part again. And uh, and being turned who being turned to enmity and Come strife Come on. will discover thy reproach. Go to Proverbs 20 and 19. Mm. An ungodly friend will reveal all the secrets once you got beef up. Or her. Now, that sounds like in, in the midst of an argument. Hey, man, oh, you told me you did this. You did this 20 years ago. You remember you told me that? Right. Hmm. Man, read that. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 19. Come on. He that goeth about as a talebearer. As a what? As a talebearer. Can we look up the definition of talebearer, please? Remember, this is ungodly friendship. Right. Because these what what, what so-called friends do. Hmm. Brothers and sisters in the world and, and in the truth. Right. This is what so called friends do. Can we look up Tailbearer as an eye? Tailbearer. Here we go. Tailbearer. Hey, go ahead. A person who maliciously gossips or reveals secrets. Go back to the scripture. A person <laughs> who maliciously, that means you're doing it out of hatred. Right. That means you're doing it out of an intent to harm. <laughs> right. An intent to harm who the person who you used to call friend. Right. Maliciously, read Proverbs twenty and nineteen. Come on, he that goeth about as a talebearer, as a gossiper, that you're doing maliciously, trying to harm somebody. Watch what God say. Revealeth secrets. God said, "Those that reveal secrets, you a doggone tear bear." Go to Proverbs eleven thirteen. Hmm. You a tail bear, and you an ungodly friend. Read Proverbs eleven thirteen and verse thirteen. Come on. A talebearer, a talebearer, a gossiper, revealeth secrets. Come on. But he that is of a faithful spirit. A what? A faithful spirit. See, it takes, I'm going to tell you, that's loyalty. Right. A good friend going to have loyalty. And we're going to talk about that in part two. Right. A good friend is one that is loyal. That's it. A talebearer revealeth secrets, but he that is a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Go to Proverbs 10, 18. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 18 He that hideth Hatred with lying Lips With lying lips And he that uttereth a slander Is a fool Now how many times in the hood You don't see two friends they, they become best friends And then all of a sudden They fall out over a lie Mm. Over over gossip. I've seen it so many right. times in the hood. Right. Our people don't know how to be a friend. Right. Many, many times we fell out with each other over a lot. And then next thing you know, we ain't talked to each other in years. Hell, even family members. Right. That Man. nigga that nigga still owe me thirty dollars. <laughs> twenty years. Twenty years, years. right. Twenty years. He he in his grave, you going to the daughter to get to get paid. Oh, right. With my thirty dollars. That your daddy owed me. Damn. <laughs> Get Sirach 28 dies, bro. Get Sirach chapter 28 verse 9. <laughs> That's an ungodly friend. Sirach 28 9. Sirach chapter 28 verse 9. Come on. A sinful man disquieteth friends. What does disquieteth mean? Disquieteth means to trouble. Right. A sinful man will trouble a friend. How does that sinful man trouble his friends? By tail bearing. Right. By gossiping. By lying. Read on. And make it debate among them that be at peace. They ain't never had no beef with each other. Right. But because this brother or sister is just ungodly, he don't want nobody to have. He don't, oh, you his right. friend? No, no, no. No, you, well, he did this. Right. I remember 20 years ago, he told me he did this. Right. 30 years ago, she, she told me she done slept with them, that, that, that. All, all because they just ungodly. Right. Don't know how to be a friend. Don't know what a what, what a righteous friend is. Right. Let's watch this. Go to 1 John 3.16. Nope, nope. Go to Surah 6. Surah 6. <laughs> Go to Surah 6. All right. And read verse uh, 10. Surah chapter 6 and verse 10. Come on. Again, some friend is a companion at the table mm -hmm. and will not continue 
in the day of thy affliction. Some friend on a friend at the table. When everything's good. Right. When all the lamb and bitter herbs is, is right. going right. Right. Well, I'm there. The music playing. Right. You got the drink. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> but but it says what? Will not continue in the day of thy affliction. Right. Now watch this. Give me some rock tune real quick. So rock. I'm gonna take it somewhere real quick. Get some rock tune. So rock chapter two and verse one. Come on, my son. If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Read on. Set thy heart aright uh -huh. and constantly endure. What is God saying? God says, "Isn't this true? You gonna have to endure affliction, and in that temptation, in your affliction, you gonna find out who really who is your friend." We go go back to Sirach. Go back to Sirach. In verse nine, in verse ten again. Sirach six and uh, six and verse ten. Uh huh. Sorry. Six and verse ten. Come on. Again, some friend is a companion at the table, uh -huh. and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. And God says you're gonna go through affliction, and when you go through your affliction, you're gonna find out who your friends are. Right. You're gonna find out because you're gonna have good times, you're gonna have low times. Right. An ungodly friend gonna leave you when you're going through your affliction. Right. When your rent due. Right. When you when your wife wanna leave you. When you got problems with each other, ungodly right. friend gonna leave you. Go to 1 John 3.16. What is an ungodly friend? An ungodly friend. 1 John 3 and verse 16. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 16. Watch this. Here, hereby perceive we that perceive we the love of God. Come on. Because he laid down his life for us. Read. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. For who? Our brethren. So the scripture said we should lay down our lives for our brethren. Our brethren is those that's keeping the commandments of the Lord. Right. The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. You are our brethren, our sisters. The Bible said we should lay down our life for our brethren. That sounds like true friends. That's true friends. We're going to read right. that. John 15 and 13. <laughs> now remember not, in John it says brethren. Right. Let's see what Christ called his brethren. First, uh, John 15 13. John chapter 15 and verse 13. John chapter 15, verse 13. Come on. Greater love hath no man than this. Come on. That a man lay down his life for his friend. For his who? For his friend. Christ called your brother your who? His friends. <laughs> Christ said your friends is your brethren. Is right. the, your brothers and sisters that's keeping the commandments. Watch this. Jump up to verse, what does it say? Verse uh, 14. Verse 14. Ye are my friends. You are my friends. If ye do whatsoever, I command you. And what did Christ command us to do? Keep the laws of God. Right. So what does a godly, what does an ungodly friend do? An ungodly friend is those that ain't keeping the laws of God. Right. Ones that's gonna tear up there, that's gonna gossip, that's gonna stab you in the back, right. they're gonna be there when you need them. You're going through turmoil, they going out the window. And damn sure won't lay down their life for you. Damn sure ain't gonna lay down their life for you. At all. That's an ungodly friend. So with that, we're going to say our praise to the most side. This has been 15 minutes with a captain. I'm Captain Gadda to the right. I'll see you, Riel. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. Most Christ bless. Most Christ bless. Now that we've seen the true men of God, we are not black men. We are the Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.